Now that I've got the arm moving in a random way with the defined um, move arm block, I've now made a defined block called blink so that, and I've turned the block, uh, turned the sprite on so you can see it, I've got a, um, a blink cycle going on here. So let's have a quick look at that. Let's make it increase in size and let's click play so you can see how it works. So we've got a animation of the eye here and we've got a, a blink cycle going on. So how have we got that happening? The way we've got it going is by having costumes. And what we've done here is simply created a white circle, a white oval with a black circle in the center and an eyebrow. And all I've done is duplicate the slide. So let's just click on duplicate. And then I've copied the slide and I've added a new circle over the top. In fact, where I started, we started here with a complete circle over the top, then edited it. And if you've seen how to create the costumes, you'll know that I used this, this tool here to edit and you can click on this and you can move the um, pins around to make the, the eyelid look like it's closing. So I started with this full one and then worked backwards. You can see here I click simply just pulled that pin up to here, didn't fiddle about too much. Here I fiddled with the pins to make it more of a straight line halfway across the eye and again duplicated all the way to the top. But not, once I've made those four intermediary frames, I then duplicated them. So from closed, you need to start opening up again. So I duplicated this one and dragged it the other side, this one, this one, and then I finally put a full eye open in the end here. And once I've made one eye, I simply duplicated the, um, the um, sprite and then I flipped it using the, um, let's come to here, using the flip horizontal tool. So it flipped so that my eyebrows are pointing in the right direction. And if I code this and unsel unselect the hide and then click on blink, I've now got two eyes going on here. Let's click stop. So let's have a look at how this, this code works. So let's just zoom in a little bit. The first thing I did is get rid of these is I defined the block called blink and I wanted to make sure it's switched to costume one. So let's have a look over here under costumes. Costume one is the one where I wanted to start. And then I obviously want it to go through the next costume block, sliding all the way down to the last costume. So let's have a look at the logic of this, this block here. I want it to be a forever cycle. I want the blink to happen all the time. So forever, switch to costume one, which is where we start with our eyes wide open. And then we want it to switch to the next costume. And then we want it to wait. And this is again, experimenting what feels right to you. So I've got down here 0 0.05 of a second. And then I put an if block in. So it's going to keep go waiting for the next costume and going all the way down. However, if I we don't blink constantly all the time, there's a pause between blinks. So I want to know or let the, the program work out what the last costume is. So I've written down here, so I've used the if block. So I've constructed this by using the look at the looks block, come down here to costume name and number, and I just chose the name function from there. And then I used the uh, operators block. So I used the equals block here and pulled this out and I put costume name in here. And the, the important thing to make sure here, costume nine is whatever is being written down here, costume nine, click on here. This is very important that you get that spelling and that spacing and the um, use of capital letters and use of spaces exactly correct. And once you've got that, it says if costume um, the name equals costume nine, then wait two seconds. That's the blink gap between um, um, the eyes being open and the next blink cycle starting. So let's have a look at that. And I've, I've got that block. This is the defined blink cycle. And I've got that working for both, for both sets of eyes. Switch to costume one, zoom into this again so you can see. This time um, costume nine, and this one's costume nine, that's correct. So let's have a look at this now. We should get the arm moving and the arms uh, and the eyes blinking. Click on here. 
So now I've got that two second gap between the eyes blinking. So my blink looks um, or, or, um, real. So I'm now getting a bit of animation in my scratch programming.